So I did a video earlier today where I talked about, or at least mentioned the CPI report. I, I kind of downplayed how much of an impact it was going to have on the market because we expected, you know, some positive signs, kind of like we've been seeing low inflation numbers kind of being curbed. You know, they, they talked about 2.9% was the expectations over the rolling 12 months. And so I really didn't think too much about it. Well, I will say I have not seen them swing and miss this hard in quite some time. And in fact, the reason why the market is going through a pullback today is because we got a hot CPI report. Now, the numbers really weren't that bad, all right? 3.1% instead of the 2.9%, so we missed by 0.2%, 0.3% for the month uh, of January, all right? You can kind of see here what's what has been sticky, what has been falling, and it, it really wasn't that bad of a month. I mean, it's the highest we've seen since, uh, what, September, but it, it really wasn't that bad of a month, and now, obviously... What we're experiencing today in the market is a heavy overreaction. All right. We saw BTC drop from basically 50K all the way down to, you know, low 47s, actually, or I'm 47s, low 48s. And actually, you can see right, right at the time, right here, where this report was released, what the charts have done since then. ADA is feeling the same exact pain as well. You can see right here was the release of this report, and then we dropped from 55. 55.3 cents down to 53.9 cents. So really what this is, is another day of opportunity. Another day where you can add to your bag at discounted prices. Okay. Now as again, and as always, this is not financial advice because what I have to say is this, although we're going through a pullback in the market today, although these numbers from the CPI report don't look great, guess who's going to be buying this dip? Institutional money. Just like I talked about earlier today. This has been a very consistent theme now, and guess what? You think they really care if the CPI report gave them cheaper prices? No, they don't. They just continue to buy and buy and buy. And guess what? I would not be surprised if, although the market is you know, down right now at, again, 48.7, wouldn't be surprised if we're back up to 50K by maybe tomorrow, Thursday, somewhere in there. It might happen even faster. We're already starting to erase some of this dip that we've gone on already. And this is a big reason why I've said, again, I believe this was a big overreaction, a big nothing burger that the market was just looking for an opportunity to pull back on. All right. So hopefully people got a chance to take advantage of the dip there. It might not be over. There's always a chance that we could retrace and go lower. But again, it's a question of whether you can outpace that institutional buying or not. That's that's the big thing that the sellers and, and the shorts are trying to beat right now. And they haven't been doing a very good job of it. So I appreciate you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts below, but have a great day. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.